problem statement from Gate Physics 2011 reads as follows. Two particles, each of rest mass m, collide head on and stick together. Before collision, the speed of each mass was 0.6 times the speed of light in free space. The mass of final entity is. Uh, this is a multiple choice question with one correct answer and we'll need to find the correct one. Uh, before we start solving this problem, let's have a quick re recap of some relevant concepts. This is a frame S is given. Uh, this frame is at rest. That's why you call it rest frame or sometimes it's also referred to as the laboratory frame. And in this we have a particle P which is moving, let's say in positive x direction with a speed u. And this observer, uh, this in the rest frame, an observer is measuring this velocity to be u. Now the rest mass of this particle, we am assuming it to be m0. Then the relativistic mass, which is given by small m, can be written as gamma times m0, where gamma is the entity that we had seen that it's uh, 1 over uh, 1 minus square root of 1 minus u square over c square. So that gamma remains the same. Note that since gamma is greater than 1, the relativistic mass slightly increase. Now, once we have the mass, uh, we know momentum is mass times velocity. So, in this case, relativistic momentum would be relativistic mass versus the, the velocity, which is the u in this case. And if we replace m as gamma m0, so relativistic momentum comes out to be gamma m0 u. Similarly, the rest energy, when the particle is not moving, that is, its, en its energy is equal to m0 c square. However, when this same particle p starts to move, the energy it will have, it's called the relativistic kinetic energy, it will have a momentum component as well as the rest mass energy component. So, so that, that's the, the it's given by this formula square root of PC whole square plus E naught square and we can also write it as gamma M naught C square where again gamma is uh, you can see 1 minus U square over C square and correspondingly the relativistic kinetic energy will be total energy E minus the rest energy E naught and this this is the E equal to MC square which which you have seen I hope you have seen is the famous mass energy equivalence. Now that we have had a brief look on the concepts, uh, we start solving this problem by going through a series of pre-checks. So the first is where we check whether all the frames in the problem are inertial or not. So you see there must be a frame, right, which is saying that these two particles are colliding, right? There must be some frame. So let's say this frame is S. This is the rest frame or the lab frame as we usually call it. And since it is at rest, S is inertial. So you can notice there are no other frames in the problem. Uh, what about the moving frame? There are no moving frames. Usually we sometimes have a S prime frame, which is not in this case. So in this case, it's not applicable. So this statement is not applicable. What about the number of dimensions? The question is silent of the number of dimension, but it does say that these, these particles are traveling at 0.6 times speed of light for in this case. So we'll assume it to be a one dimensional system. And in this case, we will take only the X axis where this is the positive X axis. Right. So this is the picture before collision. So we can see that there is a, there is a first mass, and there's a second mass. These two mass have this. These two particles have the same mass, same rest mass, same, and they're moving towards each other. And so after collision, what happens is that they stick together, right? And we assume that the the entity has the rest mass m, and it's moving in the positive x direction. So this is the positive x direction, uh, with some velocity v. Right. So so in effect, what we have is that we have two unknowns. We don't know v. And we also don't know m, right? So uh, since we have two variables, we need uh, two equations at least. So the first equation will will take help of the conservation of momentum. So we know that in for relativistic kinematics, the momentum can be given by this. The rest mass is m. Right? Then the relativistic momentum can be p can be gamma times m u, uh, where m is m is the rest mass. So this is the expression. Now we'll try to evaluate the. So I'll try to uh, write the cons uh, the expression for momentum. So the momentum before collision should be equal to after collision. So I can write P1 vector plus P2 vector should be equal to P vector. And what will be P1? P1 is given as gamma times rest mass times U. So I can write simply gamma 1 times rest mass is M times U. U is 0.6 C. This will be I cap plus let's assume the gamma here is gamma 2. Rest mass is M and the velocity is minus 0.6 c i cap. So for this, let's assume the gamma, uh, the value of gamma is gamma, the unknown is gamma. And uh, so cap, this will be m, and this will finally be with the velocity is v here, you can see that. Now if you find gamma 1 and gamma 2, let's try to evaluate the value of gamma 1 and gamma 2. So gamma 1 would be 1 over 1 minus 
0.6c squared over c squared. So this will come out to be 1 minus 1 minus 0.36 which is 0.64 so that will be 0 0.8 so this will be 1 over 0 0.8 so this will come out to be 1.25 what about gamma 2 gamma 2 would be 1 minus 0 0.6 c sorry minus 0 0.6 c whole squared over c squared this will also come out to be 1 minus 0 0.36 so we notice that the value of these two gamma are the same right so what i'll do is that i'll take gamma 1 common right and then and gamma 1 m so this will be gamma 1 so 0 0.6 gamma 1 mc minus 0 0.6 gamma 2 mc i cap equal to gamma m v so v is in i cap so we can see the direction is there right and now since gamma 1 equal to gamma 2 so you can see these two terms cancel out right m and c are constant these two terms cancel out so i'll get 0 equal to gamma mv now gamma cannot be 0 you know gamma has to be greater than or equal to 1 and rest mass is definitely not 0 this means the velocity v has to be 0 velocity v has to be 0 this means that the particle this big particle that is the result of the collision after sticking of these two particles is at rest so we have obtained v equal to 0 so now we have so now we have found out the v equal to 0 so now only one variable remain that is the capital mass m so again this is the picture v equal to 0 now we'll simply need to find the value of m and we apply the conservation of energy uh, we know the relativistic energy can be given the relativistic energy e can be given as gamma rest times mass and then c square so i'll simply write this so i'll write e1 plus e2 equal to e so the value of e1 would be gamma 1 mc square plus gamma 2 mc square equal to um it's at rest so all the energy would be m times c squared so we we calculate the value of gamma in the pre gamma 1 equal to gamma 2 we notice was 1.25 from the previous slide so this will be 1.25 mc square plus 1.25 mc square equal to capital m c square this will give me capital m equal to 2.5 m c square and c square get cancelled so we get m equal to 2.5 small m so uh, we got m equal to 2.5 times small m which is equal to 5 by 2 m so we can clearly see that c is the correct answer over here thank you for listening